Well, turning to a neighborhood in Denver fighting to keep its culture, but now the space that had shared its Mexican-American heritage is in jeopardy. Your Denver reporter, Marissa Armas, is joining us now with the latest on D3 Arts in Westwood. This is a photo mural done by my friend and local photographer, Chan. Um, a one-of-a-kind space in the 80219. To me, it's a home, and that's how I feel about a lot of DIY places. D3 Arts is a nonprofit in Denver's Westwood neighborhood, offering art, music shows, and even sobriety meetings. It's a building that brings community to the neighborhood. When kids don't have spaces like this, they have to siphon into bigger corporate ranch spaces. I love when you see someone who's never been to something like this before, and you can tell like they're big eyes and like really excited and it's like, oh. But the building is in limbo right now because it's not up to city code. On May 19th, the organizers were served with a cease and desist notice from the Denver Fire Department for improper zoning for special events. So we need a fire alarm system. Um, we're gonna probably, we're gonna need another bathroom. While the nonprofit was able to get temporary permits in the short term, it's trying to find funds to get the building up to par. So far, a GoFundMe page for the organization has raised $7,400. We know the fire alarm um, system is going to be expensive. We don't have that money right now, you know, and those grants, you know, grants don't come in like next week. And this is an area already lacking critical resources. And it's not just like, you know, being up to code. If someone just wants this space, they can come in with a lot of money and and a lot of times push people out. This nonprofit now hoping community will come through to help them stay open in the long term for the Westwood community. And I hope that this place can stay open so that they can fulfill all the dreams that they're trying to pursue. Now D3 does offer this space to musicians and artists for free. It's all community led. If you'd like to donate to their GoFundMe page, you can visit our website at cbscolorado.com. In Denver, Marissa Armas covering Colorado First. Well, Marissa, hopefully some donations will come in. Thank you. Well, Marissa grew up in Denver. Now she's covering the city for you. We sure hope you'll call 303-863-TIPS. Leave her your news story idea if you live in Denver or email her through cbscolorado.com.